Hi there, welcome to English with Shahi and I'm Shahi. So what's the difference between listen and hear? As a child you must have been told by your teacher or your mother, are you listening? To hear something means we just hear it, the sound. Okay, maybe you hear a sound in the background where you can hear the rain falling. But when we listen, it means we are listening to all the detail, what it sounds like, what it means. Today we are looking at how you can improve your listening skills in just 10 minutes or less per day. So why there should you? reasons here. why you should be listening to different stimuli to help you with your listening skills. Listening helps us learn more vocabulary and it helps us express ourselves better because when we are listening to audiobooks or podcasts different stimuli we can see examples of how a word is used and you can use it in your daily life or when you are having a conversation with others so listening can also help you understand others it can help you improve your grammar amongst other things it can also help you gain knowledge in various topics and this will help you express yourself and engage with others in a more confident manner so let's look at some ways how you can easily improve your listening skills so you may already know this one the british council website for learning okay so it doesn't have only listening skills but today we are focusing only on the listening first of all you go on the page if you don't know then put in your google search box listening british council and it'll bring you to that page okay okay so whatever level you are you can pick the level and if you pick the incorrect level you can always go back and click on it again when you click your level you will see a variety of exercises that you can choose from okay so one of the other things you will see is transcription so the transcription is text it's the script that you can follow for the audio see and when you click on the play button you can listen and you can follow it and then the other section is worksheets so what you can do is then download the worksheet do the worksheet and check your answers which are at the end right at the end if you scroll right at the end it gives you the answers to the exercise. If you feel that listening is difficult for you, you can start with a beginners and then go up. Okay, so number two is the B Lingua app. Bzz, like that, that kind of a B, okay? What's so good about this app? This app has your language, your first language, and it also has the English. So when you download it, you will see all these different stories, right? And when you click on the story, you will see that it comes up in two sections. Like It will show you the English and your mother tongue. And I thought that was brilliant. And the, there is a person who reads to you in a normal voice. Okay. And they read to you and you can follow it and you can see, oh, this word means this in my language. And you can kind of figure out what the person is saying and what it means in your language so this is even good for children it's good for you and you can put it on for your children if you don't have time to read to them and I thought that was uh, super cool the next one my favorite of course that we're looking at is yes you guessed it audio books uh, you must have heard me talk about audio books many times but audio books are so beneficial if you don't even like reading and you listen to a lot of books they will help you eventually to be able to read I know many people say, oh, grammar is so difficult for me. But when you listen to audiobooks, your brain will recognize the patterns and it will come naturally to you. Instead of trying to decode grammar all the time, you should spend time listening to audiobooks first. And that's how you will be more fluent in your speaking, your writing and your... Did I say speaking? <laughs> you might already know that I have a really cool list of audiobooks which I'm going to link in the description box below so remember to have a look at that and you can listen to audiobooks whenever you want the next one I've got on my list is podcast what's so good about a podcast it's like a mini lesson that you can listen to as many times as you want I'm going to put down here and also put the list in the description box below so you will find it beneficial 
So these are ways that you can spend 10 minutes or less improving your listening skills and you need them because you need to be able to listen, pronounce correctly, understand vocabulary. All these things are going to help you when you listen. So next week we're going to be looking at one of the other skills that you can study just for 10 minutes and improve. If you found this video useful, remember to give it a big thumbs up. Like, share and subscribe if you didn't already. Take care. See you in the next video and uh, bye for now.